Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm with the Welland Public Library bringing you another grab and go activity. Uh, February 22nd to the 28th is Engineering Week. So this week's activity is going to relate to engineering. Now you may be saying, what is engineering? Engineering is a form of science. Um, scientists are generally curious people um, to begin with, and they just often question how things work or why things work, how things became um, to be as they are. And engineers are no different. They are very curious as well, but they're often more curious about something specific and related to a problem that they would like to solve. And there are many different forms of engineers, and they all um, solve different types of problem. So for example, civil engineers are a type of engineer that build buildings and bridges and things like that. And uh, Canadian civil engineers saw a problem between the maritime provinces. They saw PEI being rather isolated from the other provinces because it's an island. And the only way to access that island for uh, the longest period of time was by boat or by ferry. And this was expensive and not very convenient. Plus that ferry could only run during certain months of the year because the Atlantic Ocean would freeze over. So Canadian engineers um, decided to build a bridge that would connect uh, New Brunswick to PEI. And the bridge is 12.9 kilometers long, which is the longest bridge in the world that goes over an icy waterway. It took four years to build it and 5,000 different Canadians or local people from New Brunswick and PEI worked on building that bridge. It finally opened in May of 1997 and has been taking people to and from PEI ever since. Um, another type of engineering uh, that you may have heard about recently in the news is aerospace engineers. And aerospace engineers are the ones that are interested in space travel and what's going on outside of our planet, in our galaxy, and beyond. And aerospace engineers were able to come up with another rover to land on Mars. And so it just landed on Mars and it landed where we believe was a large uh, former lake in uh, on Mars. And we're very excited by that because scientists believe that life has to have something to do with water. So landing the rover there, which uh, engineers built and engineers were able to get out of our orbit, and land on Mars uh, will hopefully give us some answers to the question, is there life on Mars or was there life on Mars based on um, where this rover just landed. And there are also biomedical engineers. These are engineers solving medical problems, currently very busy um, during this time. And they would be solving things that are going on in hospitals, um, and things like that. There are chemical engineers that may be designing different things like the vaccines and stuff that we may be receiving soon. But they also um, focus on things like batteries, chemical engineers. So they're the ones that are maybe making a longer battery life for your tablets or your telephones or your Nintendo switches and things like that. We also have uh, software engineers um, and software engineers probably answer the most pressing question how to solve boredom right so software engineers are the ones designing uh, computer programming or video games and things like that so today we're going to be a type of software engineer in that we're going to solve some boredom we may be having with our grab and go activity we are going to make a marble run. And uh, for your uh, grab and go kit, you're going to get a paper plate, one marble, and four straws, like such. And your at home items include some tape or some glue, scissors, and some markers. 
or pencil crayons or crayons, whatever art supplies you have to design your paper plate. So you're gonna get a blank paper plate. And the first thing that you wanna do is just design something fun on it. So you may decide that your favorite color is purple and you just wanna color in your whole plate purple. That's awesome. You may decide that this round shape reminds you of your favorite emoji and then you're gonna put your emoji in here. Or uh, if you're like me, you just like random squiggles and lines and stars and you can design your plate like that. Whatever you want, it's your design. Make it fun, make it happy. Um, however you feel. And then the next thing you're going to do is cut your straws. Now the straws are bendy straws and I thought that was great to give me a little V spot for my start and end positions. So you can see here this is my start and now my marble will sit inside there and then when it gets to the end it will also stay in that scooped out area of the V from the Vendi straw. And then you're going to cut your other pieces of straw. Um, you can cut them whatever lengths you want. Um, I always say try to go longer first because you can always make it shorter, but you can't make it longer once you've made that cut. And then you're going to lay out your plan. So you may decide that you want it to have a start and an end. You don't have to though. Uh, and then you may decide that you want it to go around like this or you can try horizontal and it has to go through all of the paths. Whatever you want, lay it out. And once you have a good idea of where you're going to place them, then glue or tape your pieces down. I use tape for mine because it's a little more forgiving if I put something too close to an edge or too close to another straw, I was able to pick it up and put it down. But it's fine if you only have glue at home to glue your straws. And then once all your pieces are down, you're able to play with your grab and go activity. So you can try to make your marble go through your maze uh, and get to the end. And once you have become a marble maze expert, you may want to challenge the rest of the people that you live with to try to solve your marble maze. And you can make it mandatory that it goes around each straw. Maybe you say that it has to go backwards and forwards before it gets to the end. Whatever you like, the choices are yours. Now, if you're interested in learning about engineering, we have some very exciting books at the Welland Library. We have Engineering, Engineering Design at Work. So this book I love because it talks all about the different types of engineers and what they're doing. And they also talk a little bit about how things may have gone wrong in that engineering um, pathway before as well. There is how to be an engineer. So this one, again, lovely. It has engineers that have designed fun things like roller coasters. And inside it also has different projects that you may try out with some items that you have at home and with your adult's permission. There is also solve this. Again, engineers like to try to solve things. So this National Geographic book is all about engineering, but how to solve different problems. And so there's a cute little experiment to try out, again, with items you might have at home and your adult's help. Um, for some of our older viewers, we have getting started with engineering. We also have curious constructions that talk about different engineering feats throughout the world. And we have Meet Elise McGill. Uh, this book is a nonfiction book about a Canadian engineer uh, and all the things that she designed and great accomplishments in her life. And then we have some non or we have some fiction books. Uh, fiction books are books that um, tell a story more so than real facts. So we have Ellie Engineer and we have Tin. Uh, Tin is a boy who lives with his father who's an engineer and makes him mechanical toys that become his best friends. And we also have my favorite book, which is checked out right now, Rosie Revere Engineer. Uh, if you would like to take any books out, feel free to give us a call or ask your adults to log on to the library, your library account and put some books on hold. We are still offering curbside pickup currently. 
Um, we have curbside at Diamond Trail, Seaway Mall, and the main branch, and you can grab your grab and go from there also. If you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email. Until then, happy engineering, and I'll see you again next week.